More than one dimension can fool you and attract attention. Camouflage my nature. Let me demonstrate. Makeups all off. Who am I? Hi, everyone, it's Gabrielle. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you and teaching you how to walk in a more feminine way. Now, I'm not going to say like a woman because obviously there's so many different walks that women do. You can't exactly stereotype women as a whole, but this is kind of like a generic walk. And especially if you are transgender, this will help you in kind of your steps to becoming more passable. I do hate that word, I'll just point out, it's not a word that I like to use lightly but it does have meaning behind it. If you are transitioning, your body language does express a lot to people in society, and especially people that you don't know. Start off by just doing a tiny bit of a sashay. You don't be doing too much of that, just so that your hips and your body can get used to it, because you have to remember your body has been moving and working in a certain way for so many years. It will take practice, but practice makes perfect, okay? So, I'm gonna put my hands on my hips. all about flow, it's all about keeping your posture upright at all times. It will become natural for you guys eventually. It just takes a lot of practice and getting used to the changes. Magic's in the makeup. The magic's in the makeup. If you bore me then I'm comfortable. My body told me that uh, I belong with the boys, but my thoughts, my mind was saying that I belong with the girls. Transgender surgery starts to be very popular. For what? Persons and doctors. I was born a male, had a sex change when I was 30 years old. Um, I've now been living as a woman for 28 years and I fully regret this. My problems should have gone away from by now, but they hadn't. So these surgeries are nothing more than plastic surgery. I've, I've had several female to male friends, and you look at it and you just go, oh God, you paid for that, it's horrible. Nobody can change genders. It's impossible. It's delusional. It's a mental illness. This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman for she was taken out of man. I gotta tell you, Victoria's Secret has hired the company's first openly transgender model. Brazilian model Valentina Sampeo has been posting on social media from behind the scenes of Victoria's Secret's pink campaign to the delight of other celebrities. Her agent says she will be part of a campaign to be released in mid-August. Victoria's Secret has previously come under fire for its stance on the transgender community.
made there safely and it was gravy. I met with a doctor and it was like really, really quick. It's just like literally in and out kind of like procedure, which is so crazy to me. Um, but I had local, oh, frick, I cannot say this word, local anesthesia, oh, I can't say it, local anesthesia, no, that's somebody's name, <laughs> so yeah, I had local anesthesia, which means, like, they give you pills, and, like, they knock you out, but you're kind of awake, like, you're kind of aware of your surroundings, you're not, like, passed out, like, that's general anesthesia, where they, you sleep, and you don't feel a thing, um, hopefully, but I was a brave 20-year-old transgender lady, okay, and I had loco, so they gave me some pills, I, I took it back, and I, like, laid on the stretcher, and they, like, rolled me into this room, and then I was kind of, like, really, really drowsy, I didn't feel anything, but, like, I could hear things, kind of, like, it was really, really weird. Halfway through the surgery, he's like, can you please open your mouth and say, ah, and make all these weird noises, so here I am, laying on this freaking bed, and he's, he has a scaffold, and he's, like, cutting my throat, um, and I was like, uh-uh, it was so weird. It was like scary, so scary. <laughs> now it was super important for me to find a doctor that would make the incision up in the crease of your neck, um, where you like tilt your head and stuff. That way you can hide it in the crease. Um, I know a lot of doctors who do it like literally on top of the Adam's apple, which is not cute because you can see the scar. Like it's so obvious. So you have to find a doctor. I really advise you to find a doctor who does it like up here. So that's where my scar is. It's about like an inch um, wide and it's not like too big. It's not noticeable anymore. The scar has faded. You can't see anything. Um, so yes, find a doctor that does the incision up here. So they cut it here and they shave it down. They don't remove it. It's not like a ball that they remove. Um, they have some tools that they just shave down the cartilage um, and it does not change your voice. I've had questions, people asking me like, um, does it make your pitching higher or anything like that? The answer is no. You have to get vocal cord surgery um, if you want to have your voice higher. All right. Honestly, I'm making it sound way worse than it actually is. You know, it's scary like getting your, like, your throat like sliced and diced and stuff, but it's actually not that bad. The recovery was fine. I had this white um, gauze, this white bandage around um, my throat for like a week. I was walking down the street the next day and all my sisters were like, hey girl. Um, yes, they totally knew that I was like a lady boy. They knew that I was like a toy, transgender. So it was, it was cute, it was cute. I had like short hair and I was just so obvious. <laughs> I will show you guys a picture of what my Adam's apple looked like before. So I'll move over and show you guys a picture. Um, it was very prominent for me. I think it's more prominent in skinnier people because you don't have a lot of like fat or meat to hide it. Um, not everybody has an Adam's apple. I don't know. It, it, it really depends. Like mostly men, but not every man has it. Um, and not to say that some women don't have it. Some women do. Like Megan Fox has one. Um, and that's why people expect her to be like a man, but she's not. <laughs> so yeah, mine was very prominent. Um, but this is what it looks like after surgery. It was still swollen, but it was gone. And I was so, so happy. I was ecstatic because I was so tired of having to hide it. Like it just made me feel so self-conscious. Like I could not bear it. Like this I can hide, that I can hide. Like no one sees that, but like it was just so hard to hide the Adam's apple. So I think that's like the main surgery that people want to get done first if they're starting out. I think it is cheaper to get surgery overseas, but I know a lot of people are scared and weary of like infection or, oh, what if you don't trust them or something? You just have to do your research. I did my research for my Adam's apple shaving down, the trachea shave, my breast augmentation, and infections can happen anywhere. I know girls in Canada who have gotten their surgery done here, but have gotten infections. Like it's a really hit and miss. You have to do your research. I mean, I also got a vacation out of it. So it's like, do I pay the same price? here and not get a vacation or do I go over there, you know, you know, have fun and enjoy the culture, eat the food and have a vacation, get the surgery as well or, or not. So it's kind of like, you know, I was like, yeah, hell yeah. I want to go to Thailand. I want to meet my sisters. I want to lay on the beach and get my trachea shape. You know what I mean? So yeah. Another concerning point for me right now is the fact that the Adam's apple can grow back again. And I feel like it's happening. It's happening all over again. And I'm like freaking out. I did not know that. I'm pretty sure you didn't know that as well, but apparently the Adam's apple can grow back, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm kind of like freaking out right now. I'm like, oh my God. In some angles, you can see it like a little bit, but not really. Let me show you guys. So here's my profile. You probably can't see it now if you have like great posture and your head is like straight, like you probably can't see my Adam's apple. It's like super flat.